Now then guys, how are we doing? Welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. As we are still second in the league, we are a mile ahead of Rangers. Nine points clear, four points behind Celtic, as expected. Obviously Celtic, the team that will be given chase to it. It looks like we'll be given chase to this season anyway, as we're normally battling Rangers and Celtic. But Rangers have proper dropped off the pace with 10 games played, 18 points on the board. Not great from them. Today's episode, we have got that Betfred Cup semi-final against St. Johnson at Hampden Park. And then we've also got Manchester United at home. Dear, just spanked us 5-0. So I'm not overly hopeful about that. But why not? Let's see how we get on in front of our home crowd. Hopefully it's better than 5-0. Anything's going to be better than a 5-0 defeat. Isn't it? So let's be honest. So that's where we are. So we have had two games in between episodes. Let's just refresh ourselves with them. The first game was a truly horrific 1-0 victory over Hibs. Now, yes, Edinburgh Derby, bragging rights, all that stuff. But we only managed one shot on target out of seven shots on goal. Not ideal, really, let's be honest. And Burn on nine minutes got the goal for us. Team performance-wise for them, absolutely shocking. We looked all right there when you look at it. But like the summary says, we should be happy with the result. We weren't better than the opposition, but we come out with the win. 100%, 55% possession is about the only thing we can celebrate there. And then we've just had a 4-0 victory over St. Johnson. So this is the team that we're going to be taking on in the semi-final. Got to remember that, is it Livingston and Celtic in the other one as well? Oh dear. It's going to be us against Celtic, let's be honest, if we get past St. Johnson. So we had 17 shots, 9 on target. They had 2-1. and one. We had 61% possession. Shanklin with a penalty on 3 minutes. Then he got another one on 27. Lombardo with a goal on 57 before he completed his hat-trick. Lauren Shanklin with a hat-trick on 65 minutes. 8.9 rating for him there. Absolutely smashed St. Johnson, and that was just the tonic after that Hibs game, and especially after that 5-0 defeat to Manchester United. So we're the only game today then in the cup. The next game being played tomorrow will be Livingston against Celtic. Can you imagine if Livingston won Celtic? That would be absolute scenes. Celtic banging form now. You know, when you look, that's since the start what since the start of the season, they've only dropped points towards in the league. They've smashed everybody else. Cup competitions, Europe. The business, they are all over it. Three games, if, in fairness, that group though. <laughs> that group in the Europa League. We didn't get a group like that, did we, when we were playing? Look at that, Celtic, Astana, Lask and Dundalk. What is that? That is a joke. Rigged, absolutely rigged that. That set me off. So anyway, St. Johnson up first. Two selection-wise then, we're going to go with Young Dan and Gore. Now, Gorey is injured again. He's not having a great season for injuries this time. after two to four weeks. Not great at all, but we've got Young Dial in goal, Clark Lombardo, Sutar and Logan with Diallo in the hold and roll, Divine, Irving and Byrne, and then Brown and Shankland up front. I'm thinking maybe drop Suter out of there. Go Ancora in the middle. So we'll go Ancora and Lombardo in the middle. For the social roundup then, Money McGregor says Lombardo starting is good. And Dale Kindlin says Shankland starting is a terrible call. He just got a hat-trick against these in the league. What are you talking about? Dale, no idea. And what we tell the guys, then we have favourites here, so go out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. Why not? Right, so let's go then. Big game at Hampden Park. We make our way out onto the pitch. Surely this is one-way traffic. You know, I mug myself off by saying that everything I touch went to gold. You know, I mug myself off by saying everything I touch turned to gold, and look how that turned out. But realistically here, we should be getting the victory as Diallo picks it up. Logan... Burn to Irving. Irving has a crack from distance. Now, we haven't seen much of Irving in the last couple of seasons. But he's still with us. He's got plenty of talent. There's Lombardo. That's my centre-back. Doesn't know where he's going. Logan with the ball across. Brown has got a score, surely. And Charlie Brown onside. 10 minutes on the clock. 1-0. That's his fifth goal of the season as well. as We're just watching Lombardo get lost. In fairness, he's got no right being out that far wide. And then Brown... There, great ball across, and we're 1-0 up. On 14 minutes then, we've got a throw. Clark with it. Do it, lad. It's a shock and throw into the box, but the keeper's not getting there. We've scored again, Charlie Brown. It's his second goal in four minutes. Six goal a season, and we are 2-0 up. The crowd go wild. Look at them. Euphoria there. Going absolutely mental. Throw in. It's a loop one. The, cl the keeper gets a touch. Xander Clark can't keep it out. Bernie's knackered. What's my option out there? I may have to look at that. As yeah, Bernie's done. Like he's done. Look at the state of it. Half an hour into the game, and he's knackered. We've had six shots, four on target. They have two and two, which says they've had some kind of threat. 
As we have a highlight then, Stevie May, he's into the box. Young Dallow's got to save it. It's right at him and he tips it over the bar. You know, Young Dallow's been decent since he's come in. He steps into the mire, he's there, he gets involved, doesn't he? He's made plenty of decent saves for us. We've had seven shots, five on target. I'm happy with how things are going, keep it up. Tactically then, obviously Burns going to have to come off, in he? Because he can only last half an hour. What's my options then, really? I know Rinna Motter out there. We might have to, if I'm completely honest. Yeah, Rinna Motter's going to have to go up there. Why not? Well out of position. He can dictate a game, though. Why have I not got Saint Amar on the bench? What am I doing there? Missed the trick. Zander Clark then out from the back. What has happened? He's gone down. I'm Clark getting sent off again. He's getting sent off again. Was it Clark in the last one or was it Logan? Somebody just come on and got sent off in the last one as well. Right, so we're making a change then. Shanklin's on a poor game anyway. I still haven't got anyone who can play out that side neither. But right, Divine will drop back. Got no wide men at all. We're just going to play. We'll play three midfielders. We'll just do it like that. One more change to make, maybe. We'll drop Diallo back. Uh, bait. This is a mess. Let's be honest. 31 seconds in to the second half. We're down to 10 men again. Discipline. It's not ideal, is it, at the minute? We love a red card. Clark gets a yellow on 42. What, what's going on there? What goes through your head? Shock him. As we have just nullified this game by going to that dodgy formation. We're basically playing a 4-1-3-1. Absolute shambles. 10 minutes to go and nothing has happened. And I'm absolutely loving it if I'm honest. Bait then. Ball to Irving. It's a short one. Rinamotta to Irving. Diallo. Bait. Rinamotta. Irving. It's a ball out wide. It's an absolute shocker as well. Clark then gets it clear. Well, we'll keep the pressure on. Rid of though, picks it up. We're all in possession quite well, and I like it. Bait to Brown. Brown on a hat trick. Irving. Go on, lad. Oh. Just wide. I thought that I just made it into the top corner. Didn't happen. I thought he just nestled it right in that corner. Not meant to be on this occasion. Look at the state of that fitness there as well when we look at it down the bottom plenty of empty hearts so young darling picks it up basically got 30 seconds left of the game as we go along brown on a hat trick go on lad one-on-one -on -one with the keeper can he beat him oh he does as well and brown three goals in this game it was shankland against them last time brown this time we're down to 10 men we break away as they chase the game and we get the win like they're asking me to make more substitutions. It's not going to happen. Loving that. Loving it. And it's full time. And we are through to the Beth Fred Cup final. That formation worked a treat for us, in fairness. Completely killed the game. I'm happy with the way you played. It is a let off that we went down to 10 men and we still managed to hold it out. I'm chuffed that we got there. And there you go then, so 3-0 victory over St. Johnson, the fans have reacted, what are they saying? Blair Bates, what a result, can't believe it, I'm absolutely buzzing. And Martin Delaney says, take a bow, Brown. Incredible. In the league, Rangers win 2-0 against Aberdeen, we're now 6 points clear. That is it though, 10 points behind Celtic Rangers. And in the other game then, Livingston take on Celtic. I wonder who our opposition will be in that final. Oh, Livingston! Livingston win 3-2! Celtic go out! Jeez Louise! They got a 92nd minute goal through Brophy. Fitzwater on 92 minutes. Cooper on 96. It's Livingston. We're going to be playing Livingston in the Betfred Cup final. And confirmation then that we'll be playing them on the 7th of December. I can't believe it. Wow. Now, I shouldn't get too smug, I shouldn't get too carried away, because Livingston are actually the team that when I was talking about how good we were, they actually took points off us. But Livingston in the final, definitely a different proposition to Celtic. Wow. So Man United next then. So here we go then, we welcome Manchester United to Tynecastle. Valencia also taken on Inter, and when we look at the group then, you know, we could do with Inter, we're not going to get second place, I keep saying it, it's very unlikely that it's going to happen, so we need Inter to be beating Valencia, 
we're probably not going to beat Inter when we play them, so it's going to come down to us against Valencia. Unless, obviously, something heroic happens tonight against Manchester, but very unlikely. Team selection-wise, then, we're going with Jung Dal in goal, Ancora, Pinto, Sutar and Clark, with Rinna Motter in the holding role, Divine, Shalabar and Byrne, and then Brown and Mitrovic up front. The social roundup then, Stan Robertson says our form and Charlie Brown's will lead us to avenge our defeat against Manchester United last time we met. It's highly unlikely, let's be honest. And Jason Silver then says our form is great, we've got Charlie Brown, but it might not be enough. I don't think it's going to be enough. A draw today would be fantastic. We've been on a good run lately. Go out there and impress us. And let's go disco. As we're going again with the 4-1-3-2, which has done us proud throughout the league season anyway. And Manchester United going to play that 4-2-3-1. Henderson in goal. Latara Martinez leading the line. And we see from the Champions League group there. We're on minus five goal difference. We need to do something big in front of our home fans. As we're playing positive, we're going to play cautious today. We're playing for a draw. As Byrne then, he's already tired as well. Of course he is. Should really have rested him. All right, Byrne is into the box. He's been brought down. It's never going to be a penalty. Rashford gets it clear. Pinto, Ancora. Can we go a full 90 minutes without getting a man sent off? As they hit a ball over the top. The Tara Martinez then. They're on the break and they've gone and scored. Eight minutes on the clock. We had a penalty shout. We were well in possession. We've chucked it away. They go route one. Ball over the top. And Martinez straight over the top of the keeper. Oh, dearie me, it's not ideal. Like We were well in possession as well, like I say. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but that's not good, is it? That's not ideal at all. Now, last time they blew us away in five minutes, didn't they? I think they got three goals in five minutes. Let's not have that again. As we get to the half an hour mark, dearie me, Bruno Fernandes then with a corner. It's a long one and it's over the bar from Locatelli. Ten minutes left in the first half. Ancora, Burn and Divine. Divine is shattered. What's my options? Out wide. I don't really think I've got too many. And there we go. Then we've had five shots, not one on target. We have had 52% possession. I'm happy with your performance. What do we do then? Tactically, Sutar's on a 6.5. Ancora's on a 6.5 as well. Divine isn't in great shape. But I think I'm going to get Centamar on for Burn. I think that's the way to go. We'll start the second half. We've made one change. Ahmad Diallo's on for Marcus Rashford. Divine with the corner then. He's cleared away. Shalabar, is he going to get there? He strolls though, doesn't he? No urgency at all. And Cora, he's going to get caught out. Ooh, he has got caught out. He's made a silly pass. We get it back. So there's an opportunity missed there for Man United. Shalabar then. Brown to Divine. What's his options? He's been brought down. I don't think it's in the penalty. I don't think it's a penalty. I don't think it's in the box. That's what I was trying to say. There's a penalty review. I just can't see it myself. It's going to be a free kick. Come on. Three minutes into the second half. No penalty. Free kick just outside the box. Big opportunity nonetheless. We're not even going to get to see it. Honestly. Valencia have gone up into second. We are bottom of the group. Clark with a long throw. Henderson comes out and claims it. 58 minutes gone. What is that? Could have lobbed the keeper. We go again. We're going to pick up possession. There's Pinto. It's down. We don't get to the second ball again. We're in possession though. We're not doing too bad. The start of this second half. A centre mile then. Go on, what's your options? He's, he's into the box. Can he square it? Shalabar, get in! Trevor Shalabar, we've scored again. It's one apiece on 58 minutes. Centre-mar, some fantastic work. Beats his man. Squares it. And Shalabar picks his spot. Henderson can't save it. It's one apiece. We were here last time now, weren't we? Let's be honest. It's a great finish, that. As we get into the 70 minute mark, I've still got changes to make and I'm terrified to make them if I'm completely honest. Right, we've got another highlight then. Henderson. Upper Meccano. Look at that. Get the pressure on. Hannibal then. We've got to watch that ball through the middle as Pinto dives in. Vlasic. Out to Diallo. He's into the box. It's 
oh, big save from Young Dahl. He was lucky to get the ball back, and Young Dahl holds and claims it. Centre Mar then. Mm, what are we doing? We dive in. Diallo again, and Young Dahl with another save. Just end the highlight there. Done. And it starts again. Throw in. 76 minutes. Mitrovic. Clark. Clark's on a card. Don't be silly. Right. Greenwood. Oh, we should be cutting that out. Ancora should be getting there. He's going to dive in. It's a great challenge. It's a definite dive in there. <laughs> That's a fantastic challenge. Divine down, Ancora. And now Brown. Now well out of position. Brown's got loads to do, but he's one-on-one. -on -one. He's hit the bar. He's hit the bar. Brilliant from Brown as he gets himself into a decent position. But with 10 minutes to go, we could have been 2-1 up. What do I do? To say I'm panicking would be a little bit of an understatement. Brown's on a 6.3. Do I really need to change my striker, though? Let's be honest. Now, we're going to put Clark... Out on that side as Ancora is knackered. Patterson will come out on that side. Patterson let me down last time. I've got five minutes left. My whole team is shattered anyway. But this would be a massive result. We had an opportunity to win it as well as there is a throw in. And it's a poor throw as well as we turn over possession. They go long. Patterson with the head. Rinna Motta. Ball out wide to centre mile and we lose out. Just want us to be back in possession. As they play a ball through to the middle, there is an overlap. Hakimi, Vlasic, he's going to square it. Oh, it's a great block. Hakimi across, and they've scored. Greenwood, the flag's, it's a flag up. The flag's up, it's offside. We're not even going to get to see the highlight. It may pop up again. At the end of the game, we may get to see how far off. Here we go. Oh, he is as well. Who is that hero in the middle there? Suta steps forward. And there we go. 1-1 one, one with Manchester United at home. We held our own there. They had a goal disallowed in the 92nd minute. Wow. You've done brilliantly to salvage a draw. We were in the game. We were in the game there. And we are bottom of the group with minus five goal difference. As what was the score? Valencia won 1-0 one, one against Inter. Oh, it's tighter than it needs to be. It may come down. It's going to come down to that last game, isn't it? Let's be honest, against Valencia. But how have the fans reacted? John Aitken says, so proud of Hearts today. So Hearts get 822k for the draw. Hearts are held to a draw. They think we were the better team there. I'll take that. Shalabar shines. You superb. Well done. Clark reaches yellow card limit, which is expected. And so does Mitch Clark. So both me wide men will be missing for that game against Inter. So where are you going to join me next then? Right, so we'll come back for Livingston, the League Cup final. That is where you'll join me next. So a single game, Livingston. We know the drill. Another opportunity for silverware. But Livingston have upset the odds before. So that's where you'll join me next then. The Betfred Cup final against Livingston. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. ta -ra.